If you have bad handwriting, does that mean you won't get any marks in your exams? In a recent case, the petitioner who was a law student approached Delhi High Court seeking directions to Delhi University to evaluate his answer sheets for the supplementary examination undertaken for the competition law subject. The examiner had commented on the petitioner's answer sheet noting very poor handwriting, hardly could read anything. In the answer sheet, the examiner had also circled and underlined certain sentences. While marks were awarded by the examiner, the court observed that as the examiner could hardly read anything, it was obvious that the marks awarded did not represent the actual marks to which the candidate would be entitled. The respondent university submitted that there was no provision in the rules applicable to the examinations conducted by the university which permitted revaluation re of answer sheets and all that was permitted is retotaling of marks in case there was an error. However, the court observed that the answer sheet did not require re-evaluation but proper evaluation as the petitioner's handwriting, as per the court, was still legible and could be evaluated on merits. The court acknowledged the arduous task faced by examiners in evaluating answer sheets, particularly in higher education institutions. However, the court also emphasized the right of students to have their papers evaluated properly provided that the handwriting remains intelligible. The court held that if the court finds the handwriting of a student to be completely unintelligible, then the court must necessarily refuse relief. Further, the court held that the examination system should not penalize students for having poor handwriting as occurred in the present case. Drawing example from a previous case, the court allowed the petitioner to provide a type transcript of his answer sheet to the university within 48 hours and also gave a time frame of 3 weeks for the evaluation of the paper. For more such updates, follow Insights on Law.